victim of Dennis are perhaps the only West End communities who are still struggling to regain some of their former glory and some would say dignity. Other West End communities like Parkdale, Roncesvalles, and The Junction have all seen increased revitalization in the past decade, while West End of Dennis continue to lag behind. An important component of revitalization is good public transit. Without that vital link, people can't get to work, businesses fail to thrive, and in some cases, to buy. In short, those communities become undesirable places to live. As our newly elected, or re-elected as the case may be, MPP for York Southwestern, how will you ensure that good, affordable public transit is a priority, and that once the Eglinton LRT opens, both West and Mount Dennis will have a GO train stop, and that neither community will be left behind. All right, thank you for the question. Want to go ahead? Uh, or Paul, go ahead. Yes, you want to answer the question. Uh, th thank you, uh, Laura Alderson, for that question on behalf of uh, the WVRA. Uh, when, uh, in my time as, uh, as the member of provincial parliament, uh, I had a, a, a private uh, member's uh, motion uh, endorsed by all three parties in the House uh, that would revive an environmental assessment that, that uh, took place in the 1990s that would have, uh, among other things, provided for uh, a go station in Mount Dennis, retain the one in Weston, who would have had alternating trains with uh, enhanced uh, um, um, daily and uh, weekend service through this uh, community. And I think that is something, quite frankly, that deserves to be looked at again. It was passed by a government uh, between 90 and 95, it was with my party, and the legislature endorsed it again in 2007. I think that's a key part of the puzzle. Beyond that, I'm also proud to say that I was the very first provincial politician to endorse the Transit City Plan, which I still think makes a lot of sense, especially here for York Southwestern. In the summer of 2007, uh, I'll remind the folks here in the room, the McGinty government promised uh, something called Move 2020. And that included an LRT up Jane Street that would have served uh, all the communities along that corridor, including Mount Dennis and Weston. We've lost that LRT. We've lost that opportunity to reinvigorate uh, Jane Street because the McGinty government uh, pulled the plug. They pulled $4 billion off the table and then gave Mayor Ford a very convenient excuse to kill the chain LRT. And that is mighty unfortunate for our community. I also uh, support the Eglinton LRT. We were promised that it would go out to the airport. Now it's actually ending at Black Creek, despite what you may hear. There are plans for an environmental assessment next year to look at potentially extending, extending it to Jane, but that's not good enough. We've seen what happens to environmental assessments. I cited an example at the beginning of the student statement. They gather dust. What we want is a firm guarantee that we will build Eglinton, build it to Jane, build it right, and let's revive Jane uh, LRT. That sets my vision for this community. Thank you.